Well, welcome to week one of astronomy. Uh, greetings from Avon Park, Florida. That's where I am. Uh, I know you're mostly down in the Keys. So uh, this is my first time doing a long distance uh, online course. I've been teaching this course for five years. Uh, I hope you'll, I think you'll enjoy it. And uh, the first week now is all about orientation. I want you to get familiar with the different components of Desire to Learn or D2L that I'll be requiring you to use in the course as well as get a flavor for for the topic what we're going to be studying so what I'm going to read for you really comes from the syllabus the last page of the several places in the syllabus is also posted right on D2L but uh, I'm going to amplify a few things so you'll see if this so you, you get it multiple different ways okay so orientation so first week the textbook. Have a look at the first couple pages in, in the introduction just to get a flavor for that. You don't don't really need to start at chapter one yet, but uh, you look through the pictures. Always look at pictures in a, in a science book. Read the captions under them. Um, there is an active exploration number zero, and there's a few hyperlinks that I have to, to astronomy related things that will help put in perspective some of the topics that will be studied that you'll be studying about during the this, the next 16 weeks. Um, there is a video introduction. I have about a 15-minute video introduction where I introduce myself and go through the course and tell you what to expect and everything. So I really would like you to, to watch that. Um, to keep on track, I would like you to watch video number one. So that's about 27, 28 minutes. It really is related to chapter one, but that way you only have one video this week and one next week. I was trying to spread things out. It'll give you a good, nice broad overview of astronomy and, and the kind of things that we'll be studying. There is a PowerPoint uh, called the PowerPoint of Introduction. It's, a, it's only a few slides, but have a quick look through that. Okay, the discussion board. I want you to be sure you know how to use the discussion board. You probably have done it in other classes, but go uh, click on the link for question of the week number zero and just do an introduction. Just tell everyone in the class who you are. You know, I have a couple things to, to remind you to guide you on what to say but just as if you were standing up in a regular class face-to-face -face class and, and introducing yourself so everyone knew who you are and wh what you like to do why you're in this class okay there is a quiz quiz number zero is to get you used to taking an online quiz through D2L maybe you've done that before but I don't know that so this is my chance to see that you know how to get in there and do it um, it is on the syllabus so if you print out the syllabus read it once or twice read it read it through um, so you understand what, and then the, qu the quiz will ask you questions right from the syllabus. You should get a perfect score on that, no problem. Okay, there is, I want you to be sure you know how to use the drop box. So I'm asking you to tell me your course expectation. What do you expect to get out of this course? It might just be a letter grade. It might be uh, you want to learn more about, you know, something in the sky. Um, so tell me what you're interested in. If you're, if you're off base, if we're not even going to study that topic, I'll, I will respond back to you and tell you, hey, that's great, but you know that's not what this course is about. Um, it's really mostly just so I know you know how to use a Dropbox. And um, in the Florida Keys uh, requires you to sign a, a contract. So we have the um, course contract. It's, I think it's page 16 of your syllabus. So sign that. It's basically, you, you can read it. It's like a very short legal document. Now, you need to send that back to me. Put it in the Dropbox in the, in the one called Course Contract. So if you have a scanner, great. If not, you need to figure a way. An easy way, of course, would be you could take a picture with your cell phone and then just upload it to there. You might have other ways to get that. Uh, worst case, just, just write me a sentence or two that, that says essentially that. Um, but you know, I'm supposed to see your signature, so see if you can do that. But just some way that, that you meet that obligation. That's part of the requirements from the college, and I need to, to uphold those. And the last thing I'd like for you to do is to email me, just so I know you know how to email me. You found my email address. It should be in multiple places in the syllabus as well as on the, uh, in the class, in D2L. So um, those are the requirements. Now, the, the two projects that are coming up, I, don't, I want you to start thinking about those, especially the Lunar Observation Project. You need to watch the moon every other night for a month, for one lunar cycle, which is really 28 days. But uh, I want you to go about every other night. So you have to sort of plan that out. Now, if you have some big event coming up and you'll be gone for most of a week or so, you might want to delay doing that. Um, but you could, do, even if you go out of state, that's fine. You can still look at the moon. The moon is still there. It's still the moon. But uh, 
take a look at what's required, sort of get a game plan, and of course ask me any questions. There is a, a section in D2L where I have a video as well as more detailed instructions. In the star project, you should be able to find, I've assigned each of you your own individual star, which I'm going to ask you some questions that are related to topics that we study in the book. And so you'll find them in the book. Some you'll have to go online to find out. You'll have to go other places or go to your library and, and look a few things up. Not a whole lot. It's not a massive thing. But most people find it very exciting. This is where you're actually applying what you've learned in the class when we speak in general about the life of stars or the size of them to your specific star. All right, and I've given each one of you a separate one so that you know you, you can you can share with each other, but you still have to find for your star. So figure that out so you sort of get a game plan of how you're going to go. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. I'll be watching the email very closely this week. Always the first week of school is I get bombarded with email, and that's fine. Uh, if you need to call me, you can, and then my number is on the syllabus. Now that will be my work number up here in Avon Park. So. If you call me at midnight, I'm not going to be there. Or if you call me on the weekend, I won't. But when I get back in, I'll respond to it. Email, I can check. You know, I might check it at midnight when I'm home here. So it would be much better if you do email. But I know some of you might not like to do that. But you need to sort of... That's really the, the main, scheme, main way of communicating, especially with this uh, asynchronous mode where, where you do things at all at different times than I do and I post them and we sort of interact back and forth, but not in a synchronous which would be is like on a CB radio or, or or even on your phone that's synchronous asynchronous is when you leave something on the like the uh, your video your recorder your your voicemail and then you you get it later okay now I know what they want and you respond well enough of all that welcome to the class I'm so excited you're in it I'm really excited to, to again it's my first semester working as an adjunct at uh, Florida Keys I've been doing this at uh, South Florida Community College for a number of years. Really enjoy it. You get a lot out of it. I hope you do. I hope you enjoy it. I hope at the end of this course you'll tell me, hey, that was a cool course. I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot and had fun. If we can learn, if you can learn stuff and have fun, that's the best thing. And that's my goal. So if I'm not, if you're not doing that, let me know. And let's see what we can do to fix it. All right. Have a great week and I'll talk to you again next week. Thank you.